Hi there, welcome to part two of this video series. What I'm gonna do now is talk you through how I got going with Forescan. So this is the OBD Link EX, which is the uh, recommended tool from uh, Forescan. It was, there were five things I needed to do to get this thing going, and I'm gonna show you all five, just to save you a bit of time. The first thing is, you need to order it. So it's for sale on Amazon for $50 US, I found it on eBay for $90 Australian. Funnily enough, when it arrived, it arrived in an Amazon bag, which makes me think that it was actually an Amazon uh, drop seller that was on eBay that sold it to me. So the first thing is you need the adapter. When you get the adapter, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna plug it into your laptop. Now what you're gonna notice is that this light here, for me anyway, was red. What red means is that it's got the incorrect drivers installed. So what happened was I plugged it in, it said Windows is enabling this device, and then about 30 seconds later it said, this device is ready for use. But the light was red, and nothing I did would make it work. When I googled it, I found that the Windows default drivers that it installs are no good. If you google the situation, you'll find that Forescan give you drivers to download, and they do work correctly, and when it's working correctly, this light will be orange when it's not plugged into the vehicle, and it'll be green when it is plugged into the vehicle. If this is red, you need to sort out your drivers before you go any further. The next thing, once I got the correct drivers installed, is that the Forescan program gave me a message saying my BIOS was out of date, and it said, please click here to update it. So I needed to update the BIOS. So I did that. When, you've, when you're at that stage, you can do the basic features of Forescan. What you can't do is the extended features. So if you go to forescan.org and if you go to uh, products, click on products here, you'll notice that you can download Forescan for Windows here, but there's also an option to get a free extended license. Now, without the extended license, you're going to be able to do the basic things like reading codes and resetting codes. But if you want to write to... Um, the BIOS of your various control modules, you need the extended license. You can't get the extended license unless you have a valid uh, login. So to get a valid login, you'll need to click up here on forum and then click on register. So, well, I am registered, so I can't, don't have that option, but you need to register. When you do that, you give yourself a username and password and a couple of hours later, you'll get a login. Once you've got that login, you can get your, uh, your two-month extended license. Because remember, you've got this option here, get free extended license for two months. When you click on that, it's going to ask you to get the uh, hardware code, or you do your first and last name, company phone, and then your hardware ID. So you're going to be wondering where your hardware ID is. If you open up Forescan and go down to um, the bottom option here, which is to register. I don't have the box anymore because I'm already registered. But when I first was unregistered, there was a box here which is uh, show copy um, the hardware ID to the clipboard. So you copy it to the clipboard, you go to the website, you insert it there, you click generate, and it gives you a key. Once you put that key into the software, you've then got an extended license that lasts for two months. And that's gonna let you do the next part of, uh, of this process. So thank you, this is the end of part two. So hopefully by this stage, you've got your Forescan hardware and software. It's all licensed and it's all working and you've got an orange, orange light here. See you in part three.